Hey everybody, Coach Elder here at Minnesota Throws Coach again. Um, we're going to take this uh, starting from the back of the ring again. Um, we are going to assume that you had a fantastic load here and we're going to get to the part of the turn that is very, very common to have mistakes happen in. Um, this, it's, it's the transition from double support to left footed single support with the right handed thrower uh, and all the things that, that we want to go right and all the potential things that can go wrong in that single support transition phase to sprinting down the middle of the ring. So uh, first thing to think about is what each side of the body is going to be doing at that time. So I'll start with the right side. The right side is the rotational side of the body. So as we get loaded and that right side is dynamically coming around the corner and I'm just gonna tap because it's easier to explain and do that at the same time. We want a really wide right foot. That right foot is wide and open as it comes around the corner and into the middle of the ring. One big mistake kids will make is they're trying to go too fast, too early, and you'll see kids coming into the middle of the ring with their knee first. And we really want that load to have worked out so that the right side can really come around the corner with a wide right leg and an open right foot. Okay. Left side now is the linear side. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, flip this 180 degrees now just out of ease of explaining it to you. As you leave the back of the ring and I'm throwing in this direction now, so I've already rotated through my first 90 degrees, my right side comes out and around the corner. My left side is the linear side, okay? So my left foot stops and it's gonna be sprinting down the middle of the ring, okay? We don't want that left foot to keep turning much like the right side is. So the right side is the rotational side and the left side is the linear side.